Well, good afternoon, folks. This is DJ from Scout Motors. You can see I got my little Scout uniform on here. I think it's a little bit cheesy, but it is what it is. All right, I got a real exciting unit I want to show to you today. I know that many of you got a half-ton pickup truck or maybe something like a Toyota Tundra. You might have a towing capacity around 9,400 pounds, and you'd still like to get into a bigger unit, but you don't want to really strain that vehicle. Well, we have got an exciting option for you today. I'm going to introduce you to a wonderful product. It is called the Coachman Apex Ultralight. So let's just spin this baby around and take a look at this unit. All right, there's your first look at this unit right there. This particular model, as it says down there, is a 20, 293RLDS. Now, I don't know if you know what that means, but RL is rear lounge and DS is double slide out. So this is a 293 rear lounge double slide out. Very nice unit. I think you're going to enjoy this. Let's go ahead and stop over here. We'll take a quick look. All right. This is what's called your basement here. It's going to be right up front of the unit. And that's a pass-through unit. It goes all the way through. Look at all that storage. Now, the good news about locating it here is you do want a little bit of weight on your tongue when you're traveling down the road. You don't want to bounce all over the place. So this will help you get a little bit of weight on the front of the unit. Now, I swear to you, look at the size of that thing. You could almost use that as a second bedroom. I swear to God, you could. Real nice unit there. All right, coming back up. We're going to look down the side of the trailer. You can see the first slide out there. Now, when we go in, you're going to see that's part of the kitchen, all right? Not a very big slide out, but it makes a world of difference from the size inside that unit. You're really going to see it in a couple minutes. You'll see why I'm so excited about it. First, let's step around side here. Take a quick look here. Again, this is a 2021. Right up there, you got a couple speakers for when you're outside enjoying yourself. Play all your all your songs, all your tunes from inside the unit, project them right outside. But y'all don't want to be too disrespectful. Don't blast out the neighbors. All right, take a quick look there. Many of you have already guessed. Yes, that's a little outdoor entertainment center. We'll pop this open, take a look. Nice feature here. It's hinged, slides right up. And there you go. What do you see? Nice TV there. Enjoy your movies outside. And then you got a little kitchen here. You got a slight, tiny little refrigerator. Not too big, but just perfect for keeping a cold brew or two outside. And then you got this little unit here. This is a little grill. Now, I'm not going to lie to you folks. I think this Coleman here, Coleman's a good product. But this unit right here, this thing's a little bit cheesy for a camper like this. I think they kind of dropped the ball here. Could have been a little nicer thing. But you can see you can pop that out of there. Take that with you. Put it on the kitchen table, the picnic table, wherever you want to cook outside. And then when you're done, put it back in there. And you're good to go. We'll probably take something like a Weber. I would recommend you take a Weber or a different grill if you like, because that thing's just a little bit too cheesy, but it is what it is. All right, we're gonna step around the back of the unit here. Gonna be real careful that I don't trip on these rocks and kill myself. All right, that's the back. Nothing fancy, it's all pretty simple, but you can see that it is pre-wired for your backup camera. It has a mounting bracket for your backup camera and you're ready to go. Take a quick look underneath. You can see there your stabilizer jacks for stabilizing this unit when you're at the park and you're ready to go. All right, now let's come around the side here. Here's another slide out here, and this is a longer slide out, it's a wider slide out. And when we step inside, folks, you are gonna see what a world of difference this makes. But while we're back here, I wanna point something out. Windows all over this unit. Now some of these windows slide, like that's a slide window, and some of these kind of push out but you've got lots of ventilation on this unit. There's windows all over the place, lots and lots of natural light. You're gonna really enjoy that. We'll take a quick walk down the side here. You got your gray water, your black water. You've got some of your other hookups here. Fresh water line coming in. And again, you got the other side of that pass-through unit down there. All right, then you got your motorized jack over here. You got two propane tanks and you are good to go. Now what you can do back here, you see this little bracket here? I've seen some folks do it. You can put yourself in your own toolbox if you wanna make a toolbox. Maybe you can find one that'll fit there, but you can get a lot of your stuff right up here and it's ready to go for when you pack that unit in, unhook it, and you got all your supplies right there and you're ready to go. I failed to point out the awning here. It's got a beautiful awning there. 
And you can see that on and up there. It's out, not outstretched right now. We're not gonna do that today. I do apologize for that, but it does have a beautiful awning. Very, very nice upgraded steps here. Solid steps on this unit. You're really gonna like that. All right. I think it's time we start walking indoors. The first thing you're gonna notice right here, you're gonna walk into the unit, and the first thing you can see is you got a nice bull nose corner there. Now, a lot of campers, they don't do that. You got your square corners, but they put a nice bull nose in here. That's kind of an upgrade. It's a nice feature. Makes it feel a little fancier, a little nicer, and you're gonna enjoy that, all right? Here we go. Let's take our first look inside. Folks, look at all that space. Now, I don't know if you want to bring the relatives camping with you, but if you do, you've got a lot of space right here for them. All right, and again, this is the rear lounge double slide out. So you can see why it's called the rear lounge. You got a sofa back there in the rear. You've got the upgraded theater seating right here. And then that's a whole slide out right there. And that whole unit there is a slide out. We're going to take a look at that in just a minute. But one thing I really want to point out to you is how often do you see that, folks? You've got an island right in the middle of your camper. Look at that island. It gives you lots of counter space, and it's also got a lot of storage in it. You'd be surprised. Now, there's doors on all those sides, and you've got a lot of storage there. I do want to point out one thing here on this faucet that's a little wiggy. It's a beautiful faucet, and it's a beautiful sink, and you've got those um, sink covers that give you that extra countertop. But you're going to want to be careful with this sink here because sometimes when folks are going down the road, this can bobble loose, and it can come out of there, and it's actually turned on, and you can have a mess. So you be careful with this when you're going down the road. You make sure you secure that. Make sure your pump's off. Do what you got to do so you don't have a leak when you're going down the road. This particular unit, this is called the quartz interior. You can see from the countertops and that sort of thing, it's called quartz. Some of you did see the 2020 unit. The 2020 unit had the white sofas, but they changed up to a little darker here. I've also seen some black ones, but this is the quartz and it's got the browns and it's got the neutral tones. So you can really bring in your own color here, really decorate it to your own taste. All right, let's take a quick look at that island there. Again, lots of storage all over the place. Waste basket area there. We'll walk around the back, pop open this cabinet here. You can see all goes all the way through. Lots of depth there, lots of storage there. All right, and there's your island. Now, I wanna point out a feature that I really like, and I'll tell you why I like it. This right here, I, I kinda think of that as your coffee bar and your beverage bar. It's a wonderful area. You got real nice storage up here. Of course, you got electric plugs as well. Lots of nice storage up here. A little shelf down below. You got some plug-ins back there for your appliances, your phones, your iPads, all that kind of stuff. But this is a really nice feature right here. Again, I like to think of it as your breakfast bar, your coffee bar, and you're really gonna enjoy that. All right, let's take a look over here at your little dinette. You got your dinette. Nice thing about your dinette, you can also see this entertainment center that we're going to talk about in a little bit, all right? But you start right here with your dinette. That folds down. That bed goes down. Makes a nice sleeper for two people. Going to be a little tight for two big people, but it's a nice sleeper area. And again, you can see all the natural windows, all the light, all the ventilation that's going to come in this unit around there. Real nice feature of this dinette. You don't have to lift them cushions up to try to access underneath. Just open these doors, and you can see all the storage underneath. Nice and secure, close those doors right up, you're good to go. Real nice dinette, you're gonna enjoy that. That is part of the slide out. Now, let's come over here to this upgraded theater seating section. Standard comes with recliners. This is a little bit of an upgrade and you're gonna like these, you're really gonna enjoy these. There used to be a cabinet above here in some older units, but they took that cabinet out, lets a little more light in, makes it a little bit lighter, and you can get your theater seating in here and you never have to worry about bumping your head. All right, that's all part of that nice slide out that's on that side of the unit. We're gonna take a sit here, show you why you're gonna really love these. Straight across from the entertainment center, pull these recliners up, put your feet up. I guarantee you, you're gonna fall asleep watching football in the fall here, folks. Nice view of that entertainment center. Now, point out a couple features on that entertainment center. You got that beautiful TV, and then right below that, you've got your entertainment center that's got a DVD player, it's got your built-in radio. You can hook up your own accessories to that. A couple speakers there on the side, and then right below that, a real nice feature. That is an electric fireplace. Now folks, in the fall, 
you can turn that electric fireplace on and this room is going to get nice and toasty. You won't even need to run the heat when you're back here because that electric fireplace is going to warm up this whole area. You're going to enjoy your TV. You're going to enjoy your movies, whatever you're into with that nice little electric fireplace unit. By the way, that is part of the other slide out on the other side. All right, folks, let's take a quick look now. That's your rear lounge right there. That's a double sofa there. And that folds out. That makes it into a bed there. Really, really easy. Not going to do it the whole way, but you just pop the cushions off the back of there. And then you lift up on that and it makes a double bed. So this unit can sleep six people, folks. Now, I don't know if you want to travel with six people. I don't even know if you got six people that you get along with. But you could take your relatives with you and you'd have plenty of room here. Everybody's got their own space. Some real nice storage cabinets up there above the rear lounge. You're going to enjoy those. Again, lots of storage in this unit. Very, very thoughtful. All right, lots and lots of storage. Some built-in ventilation units. There is no ventilation in the floor in this unit. You look around, you're not going to see ventilation in the floor. They run the ventilation through the walls, and that's a real nice feature, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, let's take a quick look at the kitchen. That's the last part of this front area here that we haven't talked about. Again, that kitchen's part of the slide out there, okay? So there you go. You got your real nice range down there. Some built-in cabinetry. Range top. You got your ventilation. You got a window right there. Again, a little bit of storage up above there. Now they offset the microwave in this unit. They put the microwave off on the side. The nice thing about that, it gives you some nice counter space down below. So you got an extra prep area there. So you got storage down below, you got counter space, and a nice little microwave if you use your microwave and you come camping. And then of course you got your freezer and your refrigerator. Don't quote me on this, but I think that's seven cubic feet. I don't remember for sure. But anyway, you got a nice unit there. And don't forget, you got the outside one as well. All right, one quick turn around here. So you can see this here. And then we're going to walk towards the front of the camper. The bedroom is actually in the front of this unit. All right, let's start by going down the hallway. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. All right, here you go. There's your sink. There's your bathroom. Now they continue those neutral tones in here. So you're not going to have to worry about, you know, that color palette going out of style in a year or two or looking really cheesy after a year or two or dated. So you got a nice, soft, neutral color palette in here. Again, you can decorate to your heart's content. You can do what you need to do. Up top, you got a nice motorized van. And then there in the shower, which is a little bit tight. It's not the biggest shower in the world, but you do have a nice skylight. So that's real nice, a nice feature here. All right, let's spin around. We're about to go in the front bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Okay, it's a little tight in here but it's a very nice unit and affords you some privacy. What you got is your standard 60 by 80 queen mattress. Beautiful mattress there. Beautiful size mattress, I should say. Not the best mattress. We'll talk about that in just a little bit here, okay? But anyway, you got your front bedroom here. Lots and lots of storage. Look at that built-in cabinet there. Lots of storage. All right, now, the other nice feature next to this bed is this has got this real nice countertop. The same thing you got in the kitchen and the nice thing about this is you can set your liquids there. You can set your beverages there. You could even bring a small coffee pot in here if you wanted to and have yourself some coffee in bed. And you don't have to worry about marking up anything. You're not going to get any wood stains. You're not going to ruin any finishes. I think that's just a real nice touch and you're going to enjoy that. All right. Now, nice thing about this unit, you are going to see this in just a minute. And you don't see this in a lot of units. And so don't forget about this. It's something you're really going to enjoy. This has got a front window in here. Now, I pulled the slide down on purpose, the, the shade down on purpose, because I want you to see how much light comes in here when we open this thing up. 